Hope you are doing fine. Today I am going to explain machine learning with practical demonstration. Let's start. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is the branch of artificial intelligence that helps machine to improve a task with experiences like human beings learn from experiences. This is the new paradigm of programming languages that helps us to perform tasks that were infeasible to do before. So, what's the difference between conventional programming and machine learning? Let's look at conventional programming. As you can see, in conventional programming, rules and data go in the system, answers come out from the system. Rules are expressed in programming languages and data can come from variety of sources including databases. Now, if you look at machine learning, machine learning flips the parameters of conventional programming. As you can see, here answers and data go in the system, rules come out from the system. Suppose if we want to classify cats and dogs from cats and dogs images, it's very difficult for us to write the rules explaining the features of cats and dogs for the computer. So instead of us as developers figuring out the features, what's the color and shape of the animal, how the noses look like, what's the shape and size of the tail, whether the fur is white or black, what we will do is we can feed a bunch of images of cats and dogs in the network and then have the computer figure out the features. And guess what? This is called machine learning. Now, let's look at a set of numbers and see if you can determine the pattern between them. Here, we have two sets of numbers, x and y. Each set has 10 values. The x values are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the corresponding y values are minus 12, minus 9, minus 6, minus 3, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. So, can you find the relationship between x and y? What's the relationship between x and y? If you can spot it, you have just done the machine learning in your head. Can you? What is it? Oh yeah, it's y equal 3x minus 3. Now, let's demonstrate this example in Google Colab. We will define a neural network to determine the relationship between x and y. So let's go there. Let's import our libraries. First, we want to import TensorFlow. We are importing TensorFlow because this is the library where Keras API is located. We need Keras API for building the neural network. We also need to import NumPy library because it helps us to represent our data as list quickly and efficiently import t e n s o r f l o w s t f import um, as n p now we like to feed our data we have to specify x values and y values as numpy array data structure x train equal np dot array minus three minus two minus one o one two three four five six Y train equal NP dot array
minus 12, minus 9, minus 6, minus 3, 4, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Next, we will define our sequential neural network model with two layers. First layer has 10 neurons and second layer has one neuron in it. N N for neural network equal df dot keras dot models dot sequential sequential N N dot add df dot Pairs dot layers dot tens. We have ten neurons in it, so image equal ten. And n dot add tf dot pairs dot layers dot D E N F tens image equal one, only one. After that, we need to compile our model. It has two functions optimizer and loss. At the beginning, the computer tries to capture the relationship between x and y, which is y equal to x minus 3. And it makes a random guess, maybe y equal to 15x minus 15. The loss function compares the guess answer with the labeled answer to generate loss. Then the optimizer makes another guess by minimizing the loss. It repeats this for the number of epochs and eventually captures the relationship between x and y. N -N dot compile optimizer for SGD. We are using stochastic gradient descent optimizer. There are many optimizer. You can use any one of them depending on your problem. And loss function equal msd that is mean squared error next we have to train our model with model.fit call we like to train our model for 1000 epochs when model evaluates all data for a single time that makes one epoch n n dot fit x train comma y train comma a equal cs fox equal one thousand now let's train our model so our model is training now as you can see So our model is trained for 1000 epochs. Now, if you go up, you can see at the beginning how much is lost there. As you can see at the beginning, the loss is very high. It is 117.5132. But epoch by epoch, the loss is reducing, as you can see.
at the end of 1000 tempo, the loss is 9.569 into e to the power minus 13. That is very, very less. Now we can use nn dot predict method to figure out y values for new x values. Prediction equal nn dot predict. Let's predict for 15. Let's print our corresponding y value. P R I N T. As you can see, the result is not exactly 42, rather it is 42.00008 because the model is cautious enough not to predict linear relationship because we have only 10 samples. So it predicts the realistic answer for the given x value. This is all for today. Hope it helps. See you in another tutorial. Up to then, take care.